Hello, my name is Shelby Tolt, and I am the team lead of Astra, a space hardware club project presenting our first entry to URC. As a team of 21 students, we are proud to present our 2022 rover and the culmination of two years of hard work. Our rover's power is provided by two lithium polymer batteries with power able to be immediately disconnected by pulling a clearly marked disconnection key. The rover's main computer is an NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX and a secondary PCB uses a Teensy 4.1 to handle low level functions. We use Ethernet to communicate with modules mounted to the rover as well as the communication system. We use a 2.4 GHz radio for high bandwidth transmission and a backup 900 MHz link for dissimilar redundancy. We have verified communications over a range of 500 meters non-line of sight with testing plans to identify operation limits. The ability to manufacture custom parts in-house allowed us to create a lightweight rocker suspension with averaging stabilization that provides mobility for traversing difficult terrain. Unsprung suspension were identified as prime candidates since they provide stable and predictable platform for robot arm operations on uneven terrain. Compliant wheels, 3D printed from thermoplastic polyurethane, provide shock absorption for drops and bumps and allow rapid manufacturing. Brushless DC motors with closed loop control optimize wheel speed and torque via timing belt reduction. Skid steering enables the rover to turn in place, permitting operation in tight quarters. The combination of these systems allows successful navigation across steep slopes, rocky terrain, and loose sand. Five wide-angle cameras relay the rover's operational picture to the base station. Navigation and manipulation feeds are presented on base station screens to allow for real-time control. This level of awareness enables rover operations beyond line of sight. The six-axis robot arm has a composite structure of carbon fiber, aluminum, low-carbon steel, stainless steel, and titanium. The lightweight but strong structure supports lifting and dragging of loads greater than 5 kilograms. In order to control the arm, we developed our own inverse kinematic solver. It uses the inverse of the arm's Jacobian to implement resolved rate control, which has a closed form analytical solution and can be easily mapped to controller joystick axes. This offers a significant improvement over typical position inverse kinematics, allowing intuitive real time operation with a game controller instead of a slow plan and execute control scheme. The inverse kinematics can be switched between a 3 degree of freedom and 6 degree of freedom mode on demand. Our arm 6 axes allow us to effectively operate in many orientations, and a slip ring on the final axis allows continuous rotation of our gripper. Flexible 3D printed grip surfaces allow for easy manipulation and object retention. A maximum grasping width of 5.4 centimeters and the ability to reach heights of up to 1.9 meters enables our rover to complete every equipment servicing task. Our operators are training to familiarize themselves with tandem operation of the arm and rover base to ensure smooth control. For the science mission, our onboard lab uses a vacuum with a cyclonic separator to obtain soil samples. There are three measuring cups and funnel sections on the bottom of the cyclonic separator, one for each expected soil site, to reduce cross-contamination. The measuring cup converts an imprecise amount of collected sample into a precise amount by volume. The soil is added to a cuvette, where the onboard lab administers a bisynchoninic acid colorimetric test for protein and monitors for color changes with a camera. The presence of protein indicates extant life. We have also developed an absorbent spectrometer for identifying chlorophyll, and a microscope will enable identification of miniature fossils in the soil. For rock samples, several cameras and a microscope will be used to visually identify endoliths, hypoliths, and fossils by evaluating streaks of texture and color on the surface of each specimen. Autonomous navigation utilizes the rover's custom navigation stack to target and approach GPS waypoints. The onboard GPS provides readings with an accuracy of 3 meters, meeting competition guidelines. The rover calculates the target heading using the geographic lip Python package and drives until it enters the target zone. The Z2 depth camera will be used to detect obstacles in the environment, allowing for the navigation stack to plan around them. Development is ongoing to detect AR tags in an outdoors environment and to use depth camera data to populate a local obstacle map. Thank you for your time, and we hope to see you in Utah this summer.